Anderson. Yeah, hot on the circuit. Make sure you catch Will. He is around. Now, uh, when it comes to sex, our next guest is the person who tells us all about it, everything we want to know. Just take a look at this. Hi, and welcome to Sex Life. When you're in a relationship, sometimes you get that sneaking suspicion that somebody's making a play for your guy. Well, later in the program, we're going to show you that it may not be just paranoia. There are women out there who will go out of their way to steal your man. She's the girl everybody wants at their party. We're very pleased and very wrapped that she's come to join us at ours. Will you please partially remove your clothing and give it a good shake for Toddy Goldsmith. <laughs> Have you been to one of those? I have. I went and did a story on one of them. It was just out of control. Yeah? We had to still film at 7.30 in the morning. They were doing donut spins and I think the bourbon and coke had run out and they're onto the kegs. Oh, yeah. Yes. They're pretty wild. Ah, oh, smelly youth. You have such smelly dignity. Smelly youth. Well, Toddy, thanks Hello. for coming on. Thank it's you. a real thrill to have you here with me in this beautiful place here tonight. Oh, it's a very beautiful place. Now, you've got a new series of Sex Life, Sex Dash Like, Sex With Life on at yeah. the moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're the host of that show, but what kind of credentials do you have to host a show like that? Um, I don't know, maybe 35 years old, red-blooded, Australian, had a kid. I think that's pretty good credentials. Yeah. That works for me. Yeah. Good? Right on, yeah. yeah. Now, well, because you know about all this stuff, like the great Aussie male, you know, I kind of think of myself as being one of those strong, silent types. The great Aussie male yeah. is becoming more educated about the whole sex thing, thanks to shows like yours and books and stuff, although yeah. he doesn't get into the books. Boys don't read. No. but it, Girls it... do the reading and then the boys ask us the questions. Mm. Well, that, that only makes sense. Yeah. Can you read the questions and, I'll, yeah. and then you can do the answers as well. Yeah. But the great Aussie male, is he like, you know, as good as, it, as he thinks he is? Yeah. I reckon yeah. Aussie blokes are fantastic. Yeah? Yes. Well, no one says hey, it often enough. Calm down a second. You need to learn a few more manners here and there. You know, I mean, it is hard for guys at the moment because girls are doing the whole have a job, taking over, being really into, you know, the women of the 90s. It leaves men in a position that they get a little confused. But what women want, we still, <laughs> we still want you to open doors for us and buy us flowers. And we still want you to take us out to dinner. But we also still want respect. But it's still okay for us to like burp after we've eaten and stuff. If you put your hand over your mouth. Oh, well, yeah, see. that's all right, isn't it? That's it's human. We like yeah. bodily functions. That's all pretty normal stuff. We do like bodily functions. You know, we can be pretty honest and open here, can't we, Toddy? Yeah, we, can, we can. We can just let it all out. Well, come on, give it to me. Have you had sex in the last 24 hours? No. Whoa. You haven't? No. Me neither. It's driving me nuts. Is that why you asked? Well, I asked you so it could at least, at least meet somebody who's done it in 24 because hours. When you don't have it, you've become obsessed for a while, don't you? You oh, go through yeah. sort of plateaus of like going, nah, don't want to know about it, and then you get obsessed again. Well, the old Italian saying, blue nuts empty head. It's... Oh, they said what they said. Oh, it's, it's, well, that's the, funny. That's a real bummer because as somebody here must have had sex in the last 24 hours. Has anybody? Yeah. Oh, there. Yeah. And not someone's that, having sex right not now. Not that many. Not that many. That's a bit sad. Not many inner body experiences happening. You've had an outer body experience, haven't you? Is that legit? Look, that's those rags. You know, you say one line, you talk about meditation, which I do do every day. Mm. You talk about, you know, having flying dreams and suddenly it's an outer body experience. That's just press. Mm. But you I have would... some, some strange dreams, don't you? Everyone does. What's your weirdest dream? Oh, my bit lately? No, it doesn't matter. Any dream. Oh, no. I just got one in my brain that happened the other night, but it would be so mean to say it. Oh, do tell. All right. Um, Kevin John, <laughs> Kevin John, who I do breakfast radio with. Double T. Double T. Actually, I'll, I'll just go back a step. I had a dream that we were all sitting around the table as we do having breakfast, and Jim Glennon, who, like, keeps us all together, he'd left the room and Kevin John left the room. There was me and Michael Pope and Rick Wallaney, who's a car, used car salesman, right? It was us in there, we've got our feet up on the desk, and I'm screaming out into the microphone, 
don't know what the next uh, song is, but you're going to love it anyway. And this was in my dream, which is just not what happens. And then Kevin John walked in. This is a dream, dream, dream. And he had a boogie down to here <laughs> in the dream. And I'm just like looking at him wanting to swipe it. And then I woke up. So wow. can someone work that out for me? I don't know. Uh, you... Pass. <laughs> yeah, you miss your mother. No. <laughs> Who knows? Oh dear. Now, if we can just get off sex for a second, that'll do. Now, <laughs> Toddy, you I'm know, squeaking, sorry. you that's fine. You are a sex symbol. Everybody knows oh, that. You yeah, are a sex right. symbol. But who is your sex symbol? Mm. Who do you look at and go, that's the guy, that's the one. There they are. <laughs> oh God, there's so many. Oh, yikes. There's so many sexy people around, men and women. Is there one in sport? In sport? Mm -hmm. No. Nah. No. Well, that's, uh, that's a disappointment. Sorry. It's, it's, the, it's the lack of the neck, isn't it? Do you know what's sexy to me? What? Confidence. Just people who are really relaxed, just in sitting their bodies well. That's sexy. Yeah, that's great. That uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, a week ago, you uh, helped conduct a show which was called The Ultimate Orgasm Hour. <clears throat> and uh, it was rather exciting. What was a highlight cool. in that? I think the vag cam was the highlight. <laughs> what the hell is that? They put a camera medically inserted inside a woman and filmed a woman having an orgasm. And to me, that is the ultimate of modern technology. <laughs> vag cam. Oh, dearie me. Uh, you asked the question. Oh, dearie me. So, that, so, of course, people were having orgasms. People were faking orgasms. They had a little bit less on how to fake. Faking orgasm's pretty good. Yeah. Have you ever faked? Yeah, sure. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. Do you think girls actually like to fake? Or so many of them do it. Um, it's kind of expected of you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Just the odd time. Sometimes you're tired and you go, oh, all right, and you don't want to hurt them, and you go, sort of turn it on a bit. And it's fun testing out your acting skills. So, but you could pick a good faker, couldn't you? You could oh, pick yeah. a faker in a crowd? Yeah. Well, we have three people from the audience over Fantastic. here who come to join us and uh, they're actually going to do some faking for us and we were hoping that you'd be able to help us judge them. And Fred, sure. if you'd like to jump in as well, would Bien that be sûr, okay? Oui. Pas de problème, je suis là. Okay, well, first up, who will we have uh, over on the side there? Maybe Andrea, if you'd like to uh, fake an orgasm for us. Take okay. your time. Uh, drum roll, please. Thank you. I've never had a drum roll before. I've faked one. Oh. oh. What do you think, Fred? Oh, j'adore celle-là. Celle-là, c'est pour moi. Yeah. Pas de problème. Yeah, ça plein pour moi. And, uh, <laughs> and obviously a thumbs up from Toddy there. Thumbs now, up. Uh, next up we have, uh, oh, Virginia. Virginia is going to be faking an orgasm for us. In your own time, Virginia, just take your time, relax. So Fred didn't like it. And finally, on to you there. Uh, on the end there, we have Vic. Now, this will be interesting. Mm. <laughs> Vic is a man about town. Uh, he's a lover, not a fighter. So... Ménage à trois. Ménage à trois. Ménage à trois. Nice perfume. Very. <laughs> so, this Tommy is Fred. Isn't it? Yeah, you're our gasometers here tonight. So, who would you? Uh, who was the most believable there? Vic. You got Andrea, Virginia, or Vic? Andrea. Andrea oh, yeah. and Fred. 
la deuxième. Oh, Virginia. I like, thought, you know, yeah. she, was, she was not inhibited at all. I think she just went in there and took the risk. Don't yeah, I it. just want to meet Nicole. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I want to meet Nicole too. But I, I'm, with nice to be fabulous. I'm with Vic. I'm with Vic there. I'm with Vic. I reckon uh, he put a nice little effort in there. Toddy, thank you so much for joining us Is here this evening. Is that second. all? That's all we have to do. We've finished our job. We can sit here and read the weather book. But uh, right now, uh, I think we should have a little rest because okay. I need to have a quiet lie down. Toddy Goldsmith, thank you. <laughs>